Bye. Um, <laughs> bye, Foxia. Um, yeah, it's been forever, and I've been meaning to do a Q&A video for God knows how long, and well, yeah, here we go. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, if you're new to this channel, um, and you enjoy this, hi, I welcome you. Um, anyway, first question is, how did you come up with your first owner's name? Uh, long story, but, um, <laughs> Bioflux. Bio and Flux. Two different words. Bio started from kind of like my first few persona, like my first persona. That shit ugly, yep. I don't even want to describe it right now, but, um, she is a radioactive bio, has a kind of wolf and bio, I've always been into the cyber goth kind of stuff and radioactivity, the fallout, you know, so bio kind of stuck from that. And flux meant flowing water. Shut the fuck up, play. Hate you. Okay, uh, um, so flux, where was that? Yeah, flux was, um, it, the word means flowing energy, flowing liquid, flowing, just flowing, like, hard to explain, it's a very weird word, um, but the word kind of went with bio, um, and I thought of energy, you know, de demonic essence, energy, kind of that sort of thing, kind of went with it, so bio flux. It was only supposed to be a um, name in the meantime, but it kind of just stuck, and yeah. Why a jackal? Well, I used to like wolves. I've always liked canines over most other animals, but wolves slowly became... It was just like a, you know, everyone goes through that favourite animal stage where it's a wolf. Mine kind of just like, drifted that way, and then the jackals came along. Um, I've always loved the Egyptian kind of the Egyptian gods and Anubis was always my favourite and I guess I wanted something kind of to do with that, like the Egyptian, you know, hence the eye markings and yeah, so I'm an Anubis Jackal from Demon, adding my own flair into that, hence the eyes and the chin spikes and my toe which is there it looks like a spiky thing um so yeah that is why i am a chuckle <laughs> how did you find out you were a fairy uh, well that kind of just happened i didn't know when and how and what exactly made me become a fairy like 100 percent but I was always drawing that sort of stuff without knowing what they were and when I found out about the fandom it just, I kind of just went with it and here I am, I'm one of those <laughs> things. Mouse, thank you. Okay. How long did it take before you felt like you could do commissions? Um, quite a while actually. I used to start out doing the point commissions on DeviantArt. But my first actual proper pay pal money, you know, pay pal, yep, that, ah! pay pal commission with money there, um, I probably did, uh, three, uh, maybe a year and a half ago, I would say, um, yeah, about that, so, yeah. But it took me a while before I felt comfortable because I was not sure about my art. I'm pretty sure like all artists go through this phase, but yeah, it was difficult to decide when and if my price is alright, but I'm happy with it, so everyone else is happy with it, so I'm happy, so yeah. Um, was there an inspiration behind your style of drawing? Yes, actually, there was. Um, my friend Denise from Fair Affinity or Grimace Johnson 81 on DeviantArt if you're familiar with them. Um, when we first met our styles were very like kind of pretty similar um, and we've been good friends since then and I just 
admire her work, I admire everything about her style and it's been a big part of mine in a way so yeah it would be her definitely. Do you ever receive negative comments on your artworks? If so, how do you deal with them? I've received a few, actually. <laughs> receiving, like, dealing with them is pretty simple. It's just the replies you may get back from them that's the difficult part. For me, I nicely state that that is their opinion. Um, I'm allowed to draw what I like, or if the if it was for commission art, it's like that was their just that's what they wanted me to draw. Um, it's not what they, you know, that person kind of negatively ne negatively comment back to you you know it wasn't their decision if they don't like my art they don't have to comment and follow me so yeah if they continue with that I would just say look if you don't like what I draw um, simply just don't comment don't waste my time don't waste your time because what you say is not going to affect me I'm not going to stop drawing what I enjoy or what people want me to draw because of that one person and if they want to make an argument out of it, that's always the fun part. Um, yeah, just simply block them. Don't don't go on with it. Don't start any more shit. Just, just block them. Um, has anyone been unhappy with the commission you have did for them? We have done for them. Um, first commission, my very first paid commission. Someone did not give me the proper reference. They didn't have a reference at all. What they had given me was, I think it was Half-Life, um, whatever that other half of IMVU, it's kind of like IMVU, but I forgot the name. They had, yeah, given me pictures of their persona made on there with different hairstyles, different clothing, different tattoos, different everything. Like, each picture was different. Um, and that's what they gave me. Um, every time I asked for more detail, they would simply reply with the same stuff that they had previously sent me. So I just did what I could do with the, to the best of my ability with what I had. And once I had completed it, I even showed them a sketch. They said it was fine. I showed them the flat fella. They said it was fine. So I went along with the shading. I uploaded it. Suddenly they did not like it. They said the tattoo's wrong, the clothing's wrong. Oh, this is all wrong. Um, blah 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 and that really actually hurt me a lot because I did the best I can with my very first commission and I was very upset about it for about two months and was not sure about whether I should do them again for quite a while. Lucky for me that person eventually came forward and apologized on their behalf. Um, they said uh, that was their fault for not giving me all the information I need and then that was it so that was resolved after a couple of weeks and I did about my art as I please. Um, so yeah. Uh, la, la, la. How old were you when you decided to create a persona for yourself? Now my first one was when I was in year 9, 10 I think? I'm not sure entirely but yeah. From that age I would be been uh, 14 to, to 16 or something like that. I can't really remember, but um, yeah, about that. Uh, how long did it take you to come up with a name for your persona? <coughs> kind of dying today. Um, the name was just a quick name that I kind of came up with, but. It probably took me a day to, you know, come up with something like, like the current one I have. Like I said before, it was only meant to be, um, like, the starting one. It wasn't going to be permanent, but it happened. It became permanent, so. <laughs> Describe your first encounter with other furries. Um, is this, would this be online or in real life? I'll just answer both. <laughs> well... Online, I guess people like me just kind of just happened and um, I guess they kind of were the ones who showed me the fandom in a way, like I found out through my friends and that. 
in real life. Um, the first time I saw a fursuiter or a furry in real life would probably be my first, actually, yeah, first supernova, which was back three years ago. Um, that is when I first saw my first fursuiter, and I can't remember who he was or his name. Or I think he was a pink wolf from memory, a pink and white wolf, but that is when it hit me and I'm like, I need a fucking fursuit, this is amazing. <laughs> but yes, so that was my first encounter with a, a another fairy. Um, next question, who, what inspired, who or what inspired you to take up drawing? Well, this one is actually, I've been asked a lot throughout my years of being on the art like sites and all that. Um, I myself have been drawing since I can remember, since I could first pick up a pencil. Um, my mum described me as to people saying that I was so good at drawing when I was little, I used to draw fucking dinosaurs upside down, like I'd be drawing the feet up here and the head down here, so like, yeah, completely upside down. And I did it accurately accurately is what a kid would do you know but yeah um so that was when i really first started drawing and it's just it's just been a long life hobby that i've just kept with and i really want to make a career or do something with it so yeah um how long have you been drawing for well that was answered in the last one as long as i can remember <laughs> so yeah um my senpais yes okay well I'm gonna to have to link these people in the the description. Where's my mouse? Description. But oh shit, no! Uh, I kind of just like I didn't open the new tab. Oh my bad. I'm trying to find the questions here. Shit. Okay. Right, my senpais. <laughs> okay. Well, I would say my biggest inspiration and one of my best online friends I have met throughout my years on DeviantArt to Fair Affinity would be Denise or some people might know them as Grimace Johnson 18 on DeviantArt but um yes they are like my senpai my inspiration <laughs> they basically kind of gave me the current style I've got now with like my whole demon characters and that like without them most of my creative de my demon designs would be like probably not there because yeah I was very inspired by their works and yes so a big shout out to them seriously go check out their art if you don't know who they are they are amazing just do it um so yeah and a few others do I have any more any more senpais but basically all my friends on my FA, my zombie apocalypse squad, they can all be classed as my senpais. You, you guys are amazing. Um, also, my other friends and featured artists, go check them out. I'll link my DeviantArt page and you can check them all down in my little friends list there. And seriously, they're amazing. Go check them out. Um, yeah. Who designed my first suit? Now, a few people have asked me this, so. You all know who you are. Um, Splinter Fox Productions. You can find them on Facebook via their page. They also have a website, which I'll also link all their sites in the um, video description. They are also on for Affinity. Anyway, so yeah, um, if you're going to get a fursuit, I highly recommend them. They did an amazing job, very detailed, pretty much nothing really wrong with my design here, so like. Yes, they did a good, easy to talk to, just, yeah, do it. Um, how long have you had your, how long have I had my first suit? Well, my reflux here would probably be almost a year old, I would say. I've had her for, probably since Feb mid-February, I think I received her in the mail, so, yeah. Close, close to a year, but not quite. It's a little <laughs> to go before a year, but yeah. So, yeah. Um. Oh, fuck. 
Uh, am I the same person in suit as you were out of, if I was out of suit? That's actually something I'm working on. Like, I'm, I'm always naturally, like, in person, a shy person. I don't talk much. I'm very awkward, so... I don't really have a character to put on yet, but I would like to, you know, kind of be what Bioflux is in suit. It's just hard for me to do that, but um, lately, for now, you know, until I get there, she's just me, I guess. The difference between me and her is she's a bit more dark, a lot more, a lot more darker and more demonic than, <laughs> you know, me. But yes, yes, that's what I'm working on. Okay, how much do you earn by doing commissions? Well, um, it depends on really what someone wants. My prices kind of start from five dollars and they go up to about 50 by like base price. Sorry, not 50, 40 by base price. And like if you want extra characters, extra detail, it can go up to about 60 for uh, logos or stuff that people want to mass produce like on shirts and then sell i do charge about 100 for that sort of stuff because i'm making money off my design so about 100 90 100 you know um so it really depends like what they want so yeah what is your favorite commission you have done well this is a hard one um there's actually a few I haven't really enjoyed doing in the past. I've done so many from when I first started and I can't really pick one, but yeah, um, if you really want to have a look at my favourites, um, just message me on Facebook, DeviantArt, Ferrofini, whatever you know that I'm on and I'll show you my favourite ones because I have too many to like link, so yeah. Um, what is your favourite fursona fursuit other than yours? Well, wow. okay, this one is actually pretty hard. <laughs> this is your favourite fursona or fursuit other than mine. Um, I have quite a few here, but um, so far my current faves are um, Sabi, the Turian by Pyre Werepire. More than the Monster Links by my friend Asrilor. We have Kairu the Demon Lima by the one and only Denise from Fur Affinity. We have Nuxi the Radioactive Opossum by Nuxi from Fur Affinity. And Hide the Hyena. Alex Dyron from Affinity and they'll hide behind him from Vine if ever anyone follows them there. So yeah, that'll be my probably top five at the moment. And there's also Beauty of the Base. I can't remember who owns that, but I've seen Vines and videos and fan art of that character, and they are freaking amazing. Freaking speakers in their fursuit. What? <laughs> but yes. Now, only two of those people that I mentioned had fursuits, the rest are just fursonas. Oh, sorry, three have had fursuits. The, other, the rest of them are just fursonas, but yes. And um, let's see. How long does it take to make a commission? Well, again, depends on what they want. The um, more expensive it is, the longer I'm going to take, more effort, um, a lot more work goes into it. If it's like a line art and icon, that's that's simple. That's not going to take too long. Line art tends to take me 20 minutes max. Um, a full piece of sorry, not 20 minutes. Ah, yeah, about 20 minutes. Sorry, that was brain dead. Um, a big piece of art may take me three to five hours, maybe more, depending. You know detail you know but the longest one I've done would be 10 hours not straight that would kill me but like bits and pieces but that was um, a personal piece and that never got finished because my computer corrupted and the file was gone so yeah that made me cry um, 
what did you your what did my first persona look like first first persona was a black and green radioactive toxic freaking scene wolf with well to me she was goth cyber goth but she looks like a fucking scene wolf um the radioactive symbols the freaking raccoon hair raccoon tail um had freaking demon wings it was a disgrace a disaster it was disgusting um that was only with me for not even a year until i changed it um my scaly sona which my friend is talking about there's one still painted on the art room of our, my old school yes that was my scaly sona she's still around um she's kind of dead at the moment though because i've had trouble figuring out a design i want to keep so i'm still working on that one um yeah i have a few sonas like that's my scaly this is my first sona male first sona also a demon jackal but yes <laughs> But my first, first one, which is dead, is gone. I sold that thing. Someone bought it. Yes, I am concerned. But yes. Um, if we met at Con and wanted a hug from you, would you and dance together? Can we do that? I would certainly give you a hug. I'm not much of a dancer, as in I do it every day or in public. So not sure about that. <laughs> but um. Yeah, I just do the dancing bunch because people like them, but in public and generally I don't dance much, but yeah. The hug the hug will go good. Let me, let me. Ah! I'll give you a hug. What do you get when you cross a fox with a trash panda together? Well, I guess you get a red panda because it looks like a raccoon but it's orange like a fox. Logic. I don't know. <laughs> okay, what is the story behind your character? Is it more of a alter ego of yours, or is it just a fairy extension of normal human, as in me? Um. Well, I actually am working on a backstory which uh, links about my basically. Ah. Um, yeah, basically I'm working on a backstory about the world, um, one of my worlds, my realm I guess, um, where a few of my demon characters, including Bioswox, resides. And that I can link in the description. It is incomplete, but it is getting there. I have a bit to do with it, um, to work on it, but yes, there is a bit of a story back there. Um, so, yeah, um, some of her looks and personality or whatever go into what I actually am as a person as in the look is more gothic I am gothic in real life the hair at the time kind of looked like mine mine's not red I mean yeah, it's not black anymore it's red but yeah um the colors the blue here is like one of my favorite blues um though on my ref sheet it's more of a purpley blue rather than a blue blue but that doesn't matter <laughs> Um, so yeah, there's a bit that is kind of from my personality and me as a person that I put into my first owner and a lot that is like, kind of made up fantasy, you know, yeah. Um, how did you get, uh, how did I get the name Carly by Flux? Um, this is the name I use on Facebook and a few other places. Carly is basically my actual name, my real name. Um, Bioflux being my um, first owner's name. But, so yeah, it's pretty simple, nothing big. It's just the name I'd rather go by than my actual full name, so yeah. Um, I know about this chat box. Um, Alright. Okay, so my character is Demon, so do you have any demonic powers? Yes, actually. Um, so yeah, um, basically just necromancy, voodoo, black magic. Um, she's not OP, so she does have weaknesses. And I have that on my ref sheet, I think, in the description. So if anyone is interested, I can link you that. Um, just message me anywhere. So yeah. Um, I have more on my mind here. 
More questions. Oh shit. More questions. Oh, damn it. Um. Okay. What made you want to join the fairy fandom? Um. Yeah, it kind of happened. I, there was no reason to join it really. I just. I've been a huge fan of animals and I guess fantasy and from from all things and all that. Kind of just happened. Um. It's like yeah, yeah. Um, what is your favourite aspects of the fairy fandom? Okay, well, to me, um, my favourite aspects would be um, the friends I've made, basically. Um, people say, uh, internet friends aren't real friends, but to me, they are. Like, I've talked to some of these people for years. Like, yeah, and they're still here, and my friends so that would be the main thing um also the first thing it's fun it's creative i like cosplay i like dressing up i like halloween i like that sort of stuff so having a fursuit and it being a norm for me it's it's great um also because of me being a shy person in front of someone i feel that it's opened my mind a bit more i'm a lot more interactive than i used to be so that's another big thing for me Okay. How long do you think it took to fully develop your persona? Um, in appearance and traits. Um, years. <laughs> like I said, my first persona, it started from there. I had about four other, oh, well, after that persona was dead, I had a whole year of just my scaling persona. Then I decided to create another persona and she was still, this is when Bioflux originated, and some of the looks are stuck, like the tail, which is behind me, I think, um, with the spikes, the jackal appearance, big ears and all that. Um, she originally was a wolf husky, then she went from that to a uh, jackal husky, then to that just a jackal. Then she went from that jackal to this jackal, so, <laughs> yeah. A lot of change, and it took me probably three three years to get her to what she is now, and for me to be 100% happy with it. So, yeah. Um, did you break or crack a bone in in yours or someone else's body? Ah, well, I have a funny story actually to tell you guys. The first bone and the only bone I actually make that true. I fractured my bone and a. Um, broken my bone. So the first time I fractured was the first thing I fractured was my little toe and how that happened was um, I was walking and there was a freaking Wii Fit board on the floor and I kicked the bloody thing and yeah my toe was sore for about a year and I kept on wanting to go to the doctors but mum said it was fine and eventually it just healed on its own but it was fractured, I knew it was fractured. A toe shouldn't be sore for a whole year so yeah. Um, the second time was pretty funny. I laugh about it now, but it's kind of made my nose a little crooked, and that just just makes me sad. I hate my nose as it is, so. <laughs> um, so me and my sister were trying to do a trick in the pool. Um, what I was doing is was holding her feet, and I was going to flip her over my shoulders, and we're counting down. But she went a little too early and head burned me as hard as possible in my nose. My nose was broken, it was bleeding everywhere, it was an excruci excruciating pain. I never went to the doctors for it because I thought maybe it was just cracked and it was, and mum thought, yeah, I was with mum and making me not go to the doctors for these things, I swear. But it, yeah, I found out like a, a couple of years later, I, that you know a nose shouldn't bleed and hurt that much unless it's broken so I figured it's got to be broken and my nose is like kind of crooked and makes a clicking noise when I touch it sometimes it's weird so yeah that happened um favorite pop tart I'm so sad I've never had them before in my life <laughs> Australians don't have cool things here. Apart from 
some things, but Pop Tarts you can get in like candy stores, but I've never had one, so I can't really answer that question. Um, I'm not even gonna answer that question because I have no idea. Some troll trying to be like funny, funny. Um, how many cons have I been to? Um, does it is that just is that just for cons or everything? Because if everything, I've been to Supernova three times, Comic Con once, and another con like anime convention, which is quite new. I can't remember the name of it. So that was about that's five anime cons and two fur cons. My first fur con, I didn't have my first suit, so that's kind of sucky. And I only went one day, but the recent one that just went by. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, well, this one's what's your favorite fursuiters and favorite color. I kind of asked Anson favorite fursuiters before, but um, I do have a few more which I didn't list before. But um, basically, Nooksie, Nooksie, um, fuck, what did I even say? Ah, uh, High Hyena. Beauty of the Base, um, there's one Kawaii anime one that I cannot remember the freaking maker or the first reader or the first, like the character's name, so uh, it's that blue, uh, blue and white strappy Kawaii shiny eyed thing. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. Um, I'll say my first suit maker, I like her suit, her suit is amazing. Um, Hunting Wolf, uh, both her, well pretty much all her characters she has, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, there's a few more out there that I like, but I can't list them all, I just, I just list the main ones there, so yeah, and that's all the questions, so, oh wait, no, I have one more, I have one more, my friend did a late one, a late question, so that was on my recent status. What got me into metal? Yeah, what when when did I start listening to metal? Um Well to be honest I'm not a hundred percent sure when, but sadly for me it started with the emo band. So it's emo band skill. Like, Bring Me the Horizon, uh, Attack Attack, I still like those two somewhat, but, you know, I've matured my music taste into, like, black metal and folk metal now, but, um, yeah, I think that would have been maybe 2008, I started listening to that sort of stuff, so, for me, I was in year eight, um, so, yeah, that probably started it, yeah. But yeah, I don't just listen to metal, so I get a wide variety of music. So basically most of my music I listen to now started about that time to about 2010, so like the steampunk stuff and gothic rock. Yes, Creature Feature 2010, that was the shit and it still is. But yes, basically when I was in high school, that's where all that music came from. So yeah, thanks for the question guys, and I'm totally happy I can finally do this video. I've been waiting since like I first got Fireflux to actually do it, and I just, I've done questions before, I just never got around to finishing it, so, hmm. or I misplaced them, so it's like, I finally did it, and this one's, this one's worth it. So thank you guys, um, if you, um, ah. Uh, if you're only new to me on YouTube and you just came across my channel, like, subscribe, and comment would be amazing. Um, if you want to follow me elsewhere, like DeviantArt, my DeviantArt is... No, fuck, I'll just link them all, I'll link them all into the description, so just scroll down there and yeah, do it, okay. Um, I have actually got some ideas to do some more videos for this channel and I was thinking about doing some Amigle ones. I've always been very skeptical and not sure about doing it because I'm so shy but 
Yeah, I might do that. Um, I also have a few more ideas, maybe some more dance ones, because I haven't done a dance YouTube video for a while. A lot on Vine, but yeah, not a full one. Um, and yeah, if you guys have any more ideas for like videos I should do with my fursuit, let me know. I'm not so keen on um, going out in public yet on my own with the fursuit, because my town's a shithole basically. I might get bashed, so <laughs> um, that will have to wait till my friends and my sister gets their fur suit, so we'll be doing that together probably when that happens, so we'll have a, a wolf, a fox, and a kitty cat, and a jackal walking around in my town in the near future, probably next year, two years, I don't know, just, yeah. <laughs>